Hello, beautiful friends. I'm just sitting in my car waiting for a phone screen to get fixed. So I wanted to come on and say hello. I have some music going, some chill beats in the background. And I just wanted to say, I hope your day is absolutely beautiful and wonderful. It is nice and sunny here right now where I am in Calgary, Alberta. Pop in below, let me know where you're joining from. Um, I spoke yesterday about releasing resistance and how powerful it is when we release resistance and what resistance is in our energy. So many of us are raised to be resistant to change. Um, I was just talking to a beautiful soul today. It was tattoo day today, one of my favorite things to do. And we were talking about that fear. That fear, you know, holds us back from so many things and fear is a form of resistance. It's our ego saying, no, do not try something new. No, stay comfortable comfort gets us nowhere. There's a difference between doing things that make you happy and joyous and grateful and all those things and staying comfortable. Staying comfortable does not help us expand. Staying comfortable keeps us stagnant in life. It is so important to push past your boundaries every day just a little bit just a little bit because that version of you that is standing on the other side with everything that you're desiring that you're working towards is not the same comfort level as you are now that version of you probably has learned new things probably well we know it we know that version of you has is you know is that version of you more fit than you are now is that version of you healthier than you are now is that version of you have a more positive mindset than you do now and as we know changing habits is uncomfortable doing things that scares us is uncomfortable but how many times have you died doing things that make you uncomfortable if you're watching this never you may have made poor decisions in the past but that is here nor there when you follow your intuition into a space that it's taking you to serve at a higher purpose you get uncomfortable it's uncomfortable to expand think of that seed in the soil do you think it's comfortable to break free from that shell or a chick coming out of an egg you know think of as a woman as a mother when you give birth to new life it's uncomfortable but it's so worth it in the long run and we forget that discomfort our bodies are programmed to forget that and move forward and want to have more children and want you know we're here to create whether it's creating within our own bodies co-creating with source creating with another human being we are here to create and we are here to spread joy to each other not to bring pain and suffering to each other when we focus on those lesser things in the world, we bring more pain and suffering to ourselves. So if you're in the habit, I'm going to take this a little bit the other way. If you're in the habit of picking out the negatives in a situation, do me a favor. And the next time you feel yourself doing that, stop yourself in that moment. Ask yourself to stop, set the intention and shift it. Say, what do I need to learn from this? Why is this coming into my reality? That's the beauty of this. And this is what the message coming through is. It's like we are here right now, but right now is the past because we have manifested right now with past. So if we want the future to be different, we need to start right now and manifest something different. Shifting our mindset, shifting our energy, shifting what we are doing right now to get to another space. And that doesn't mean it's not, it's, you know, it's, it's okay to relax. It's okay to, to have fun and find joy. We are in this society where we're taught we need to work so freaking hard and we need to hustle, hustle, hustle. But what fun is that? There are so many ways you can succeed in life. And you know, I was talking to my tattoo artist today and I told him money is energy like anything else. When you relax, you do the work, and then relax and allow things to come to you, energy flows where intention goes. And we've all heard that saying. And when we let go of that resistance, you know, holding it back, just think of trying to hold water away from you. It's not going to do anything. You're just creating this resistance, this ripple. So instead, stand tall, be aerodynamic and water dynamic, and allow what's meant for you to come to you instead of holding it back. Put your hands down right now. I want you just to do a little exercise. Pull your shoulders down from your ears and relax. Breathe. Take a couple really deep breaths and allow yourself to be in this moment. And now I want you to ask your higher self, 
what is that that I want to create in my life going forward? And it doesn't have to be anything huge. It can be something huge and life changing, but it can just be, you know, I want to be happier. I want to feel calmer. I want to be joyous. I want to help others. And you may think that it's a big hill to climb, but it's steps, one step at a time, one step at a time. Think of how a life is created. Those two cells come together and then all of a sudden, sorry, I'm just watching, all of a sudden they start to split. And those first few splits, it's just not that many cells. But as it divides and divides and divides and divides, all of a sudden it's billions of cells. And it doesn't seem, you know, it's like building that momentum in life. Keep that momentum up. Keep yourself in that space of momentum and allow, open to receive. So many of us are afraid of being seen, being heard, you know, having our emotional needs met, having our physical needs met because we're so used to serving everybody else. And don't get me wrong, that's a great thing, but there has to be a balance in that. We have to allow it to come back to us to create that synthesis and that energy, that back and forth. We are conduits of energy. We are like a wire, we're like a light bulb. We have to allow the energy to flow through us to be the complete circuit. Otherwise, we're just gonna burn ourselves out or blow ourselves up, you know? Think of a something that has a blocked, you know, energy flow, physics, right? It's not gonna flow through properly. So yes, that's my message for you today. Just allow, 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 allow. Let go of resistance, come back to center, take an energetic time out and reset. Write down a couple intentions today of what you want in your life. Maybe look back at your life a year ago and be like, hey, what have I created from a year ago or two years ago that I wished I had in that moment? And see your power, see your power. Watch for the synchronicities, watch for the signs because they are signposts telling you you are on the right path, you are going in the right direction. There are always signs your exterior is an algorithm for what's going on inside and it's pointing you where you need to be open up to the experience be so wide open that you're just magnetic and things come to you and i know you might be laughing going well how do i do that well you can if i can do it anybody can do it anyway thank you for listening to me babble cycle babble energy babble um if you need a little assistance reach out i have links attached in the comments I have a full moon energy healing circle coming up on July 3rd. It's over Zoom, so you get to do it out of the comfort of your own home. If you've ever had energy healing, I put a poll in here, so vote on the poll. Anyway, I love you. Have the most beautiful day. Bye.